And finally we got the news about Chinese stimulus and in this video I will quickly walk you through. I'm currently away from keyboard but um, I try uh, to remember as much as possible about the news that we got today overnight. So we have 12 trillion uh, yuan in total stimulus and I would say that comes in higher than most people have expected. Actually there have been rumors before about around 6 trillion in stimulus then this was kind of raised to up to 10 trillion i mentioned there have been some economists out there suggesting they should go up to 12. now we got 12 in stimulus and it's um, split into three packages um, so it's about you know um, issuing new bonds it's about um, raising the debt levels and also specifically to um, catering lo local governments for their debts and serving them. So it's actually three packages. Um, one thing where I think investors might be disappointing is that they expected one of those packages, um, which are six uh, plus four plus, plus two trillion, uh, might be geared towards consumption specifically, uh, which doesn't seem to be the case. Um, but I will explain what I think um, how this will still benefit consumption. So first of all, um, they are you know taking on or allowing new debt, and also they are helping mostly the local governments to get rid of bad debt that I had in the past. And also, you know that local governments have been struggling with the fact that they had um, uh, you know not as many land sales and real estate sales in the past, uh, and so that has been a big income for uh, local governments. And so they had like problems for refinancing um, and that has been a problem for the economy in general now that they are now tackling this issue I think will not only help the local governments but also the real estate sector in general um, it will clean up lots of the shady debt in in the balance sheets and it will allow them to go and look forward and invest into specific sectors again now this is also where I think um, that the stimulus is actually um, geared towards consumption as well um, because that's where um, we will see measures and policies targeted directly at uh, consumption stimulus in the future. Um, they did not um, describe it like that today in the packages because those packages, as I've explained, are more about um, you know, debt levels, issuing bonds and um, how they are benefiting local governments. But they gave an outlook and said um, these policies will be used to invest, for example, for replacement of um, old goods and reinvesting strategically into new areas. What is the new? Uh, what are these? What are the new areas? Well, of course, they are sustainable energy, renewables. There are electric cars. There will be um, household tools, um, all of that. Um, and that's going to be beneficial to companies like um, the EV stocks that we invest in, for for example, but also um, Alibaba, Jingdong, Pinduoduo and so on. So I think they mentioned how this, um, you know, uh, additional liquidity by issuing bonds, by raising debt limits and so on, uh, will in the future be um, turned into policies that will benefit consumption. And therefore, I think we get the full package here of 12 trillion um, on the high side of the stimulus expectations. And we will see in the future more news, um, ongoing news flow of how this will actually be implemented into targeted policies that will benefit some of these companies. So while we don't have that news today, I still think investors would misunderstand it if they think it's missing because it's not missing it's in there it's just that these uh, actual measures will take some time until they will be announced in full going forward and i think the reason for that is that the recent data for um chinese economy has actually been quite good so if you look for the um inflation data, the um, import-export data, if you look for the, um, the PMIs, the, uh, all of these have been actually coming in quite good. Also the real estate market has the first uptick in October. And so for them knowing now, okay, we've got Trump in place, but we also have uh, soft uh, structural issues 
the underlying issues uh, with the with the um, local government debts and so on um, puts them in a situation where in the next couple of weeks and months we can just be very proactive and introduce those measures bit by bit so expect more news flow on that in the future that's my takeaway that's how i think about this stimulus news today and we'll see how the market will react to that um, I think obviously, as always, there will be a little bit of seller news or also expectations management, right? Uh, but overall, now we have the facts. This is the fiscal stimulus by the standing committee. And um, this is what hasn't been announced so far where investors were looking towards. And I think it will provide the necessary upside for the Chinese economy in the next months and years. And China is now entering the cycle in which the recovery will start. And... Um, yeah, I think the facts are now there. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.